Alrighty. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Full Media Part 34, Sea Change Part 2. Today's episode, we set out to add some chords to the last two notes of the ending, and you just heard that. It gives it kind of an even stronger ending. And we also reflected that in our energy chart. We also wanted to look at how our MIDI animation looked. These are the figures and the pulse. And this turned out to be kind of neat because there are some places at the end. Right in here is a really pretty transition. Right here. And it turns out we had modulated this part down and left this as original. And these three notes, uh, and these three notes rising, exactly are, are the same, and they make a really pretty transition. And so that was pleasing. We also um, added backbones and chords to the animation, and that's chugging along here. Um, we have more work to do on this, but this is kind of what it looks like at the moment. So the top are the figures, the bottom is the pulse, and the middle is the, the backbone. And then we're getting these extra red trails because of the artifact of how this program works. So we have more work to do on that, but we have some ideas for that. So we, we tuned the score using our listening and the energy chart, and we did a lot there. This is, shows the, uh, the line diagram, and this shows the new, newest energy chart. In every place there's a yellow highlight, we made changes. Here is all of the dynamic changes we made, and then over here are all of the modulations that we made. And so those modulations and those dynamics as we demonstrated before, have quite a strong effect on um, here. Take out that modulation for a minute. And it looks kind of like that. And put it back in because we don't want to mess the chart up. And then if we take out the dynamics, which is here, It looks like that. So in practice, the dynamics are kind of a little more fine tuning. You can see, if you look at the, the shape of these peaks, uh, the dynamics seem to be kind of helping round them a little bit more. And the modulations kind of give more of a kick depending on how much we modulate. So what we're going to do to bring us home for today's episode is we will play, using the score, the uh, current version of Shadow Triptych Cycle 1 Passing Chords, Dynamics, and Modulations. Here we go. So what we really like about that is there's a lot going in and there's a lot of what we might call melodic illusion. When we were playing the midis using isolated parts of the score, we didn't always hear the same melodies underneath it. So our brain is adding melodies by combining different lines, how we hear them. And uh, 
that are not in an individual line by itself. So that's kind of cool. Um, next time, our ideas for next time are we're going to need to make a combined figures line for the animation, and that should get rid of that annoying red line. And then we are still looking to do some new cadences and melodies. So that concludes today's stream. Thank you for your time and attention, curiosity, and interest. We look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Please do come back. And as always, keep on streaming.